Hello everyone, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn the difference between put, post and patch method. So let's begin. Post method is used to create a record. For example, if you want to create a new user, then you will use the post method. Whereas put and patch are used to modify the records. Now what is the difference between put and patch? Put will completely modify the record, whereas patch will partially modify the record. Now let's see this practically on the postman. Before jumping to the postman, we need some APIs. Copy this link and open this link in the browser. Here you will find a multiple APIs. These APIs are related to the passenger and airlines. So you will see that there are multiple APIs with the put, post and different methods here. Now we will use the passenger APIs because it has post it has patch and put api so first we will use the post api on the postman and then we will move towards the patch and the put so i will copy the passenger api from here and now open the postman create a request paste the url change the method from here to the post now in the post request we need a body for that click on the body change to raw click on json so if you don't know about these form data raw binary don't worry about that we will cover those in the upcoming sessions now we need a body now open the documentation and see the body of that particular api so let's find the body of that particular api as we want to create a passenger so we'll copy this post body from here i'm copying this one let's go back to the postman click here and paste. Now I'm changing the name from here so that we can identify our request. Type testing under and just click on the send button. So API has been successfully executed and that particular user or the passenger has been created. Now copy the ID of that particular user. We need that ID for put and the patch method. So I'm copying that ID. And you can place or write down it somewhere. I'm pasting here. Now I will use the put method here to modify that particular passenger. For that, we need to change the method to the put. And also we need to provide the ID of that particular user. So we need to click here, provide slash, and then provide the ID of that particular user. I'm copying this ID from here and I will paste it in the URL. I'm changing the name to testing funda two, not two, maybe three, and changing it to 251 and two. Sending the request. So you can see that the passenger data has been successfully updated. Now we will use the get API to see either the effect has been done or not. Change the method to the get and we don't need a body here click to none then click on the send button yes now you can see the updated record of that particular user testing funda 3 251 and id equals to 2 for the airline now we will see how the patch will work here change the method to the patch and as we discussed earlier that we can partially modify the record so i am removing the trips and airline from this one and changing the data to testing funda 4 click on the send button you can see that record has been updated successfully now use the get method to confirm this one click here click on get we don't need a body here and click on send Yes, you can see that now testing funda 4 is updated only. So this is the difference between post, put and the patch request. I hope that you have learned something today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next lecture.